Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this session, we will discuss exam exercise 9.10 from additional mathematics course, and this is topic from trigonometry. Uh, here we have uh, uh, 12 questions and uh, in a couple of sessions we will discuss all. Uh, in this session we are discussing question number 1, 2, 3 and here is the first part question number 1 part A sketch the curve y is equal to 3 cos 2x minus 1 for the range 0 to 180 degree inclusive so for this purpose we will e draw this x into a different intervals with a 15 degree or 30 degree even we can skip this 15 and 45 and 0 30 60 90 and 120 150 and 180 so that it becomes easy so uh, since we are doing in a practice session so we have taken intermediate values so for x is equal to this to over 80 degree then 2x becomes the double of it so this is all with reference to this so this 2x in place of this cos 2x we can place this 2x here at 0 this cos becomes 1 and 30 degrees 0.866 so we know this trend we have learned it earlier so this is 1, this is 0.86, this is 0.5, this is 0, minus 0.5 and then this is. So this is a simple uh, trend. This is cos, this is cos 2x. Now we have this 3, so we multiply this value with 3. So this becomes this value. So this cos 2x becomes this. And we, when we minus this, then this becomes so this is simple and now we can plot this against this 0 to 180 degree. so we have plotted it here so for 0 degree 15 degree 30 degree 45 degree so we have plotted this so we know that this is simple trend so this is 2 and this is minus 4 so this is my reference 0 uh, so whenever we draw this uh, is a simple uh, cos between 1 to minus 1 so for minus 1 to 1 since we are multiplying it with 3 and we are subtracting with this minus 1 so this curve becomes so this we have uh, already learned it earlier so uh, we are just uh, multiplying with the with the trend and subtracting or intercepting at minus 1 so this becomes this if we release this intercept minus 1 then this will oscillate between 3 and minus 3 so this will shift here we will just slightly shift it here so this part will be here and this part will be here if we skip this minus 1 so similarly if for different values of this mi uh, minus uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, this shift will be occurred. Simply this curve will be shift up or shift down. And this 3 is the multiplication which is the magnitude. So we just multiply this with magnitude. So if we have a plus 1 to minus 1, you just multiply with the 3. So this is the difference 3 is the difference between minus 1 to 2 and minus 1 to minus 4 so this 3 is the difference because of this coefficient so this is simple and we have drawing for this we can uh, place uh, only 0 30 60 and with the interval of 30 degree or even uh, 0 to 90, 0 to 45, and then 90, and then 135, and 180. We can draw it. We know this. So let's go for this part B. State the amplitude of 1 minus 4 
sin 2x so we have uh, to draw this and we can see but this is uh, sin is again a work between 1 to uh, plus 1 to minus 1 so here we have a negative sign so we we'll multiply with uh, minus 4 so so this is uh, the amplitude this is the coefficient that is the amplitude and this is the period so this period is uh, sine takes 360 degrees so 2x sine x takes 360 degree for a period so 2x becomes half so this is 180 degree so the period is half so the amplitude of this is 4 and its period is 180 degree and when we draw this so just for an illustration purpose i have drawn it so this is intercept one so we have draw this line one here and between one we have draw this four below from here to here this is minus three from plus one to minus three we have draw this minus four and then from this one to this part peak is become four difference is four so this is become five well this negative sign shows this curve if this is not negative then we will have a, this kind of curve this part would be appeared here if this sign minus is not there so this is simple we can draw it State, similarly in the part b state the period of 5 tangent 3x so we know that tangent takes a period of uh, 180 degree so this is this normal tangent takes 0 to 90 degree leading to the infinity and from minus infinity to 180 degree and then we repeat it keep on repeating so this is so for 3x the period is one third so here we have 0 to 180 degree but in case of tangent 3x the period become 60 degree so we see this curve from here to here and from here to here and after that we can see that it is repeating this part is like this and this part is like this this portion this portion is this one so when the curve repeats we take it as a period so this is the period here this is the period so here we have 60 to 120 degrees this is a period of 60 degree from 120 to 180 degree there is again a period of 60 degree so this curve trending of tangent is very simple since we are multiplying with um, 3 and adding 1 so here we have simple tangent x so it started with 0 but in case of 5 tangent and 3x plus 1 so it started with 1 this is the reason so simple so uh, it was not required to draw this curve but this curve trending is helpful in explaining this phenomena so so in a, in, a, in, a, in a final examination we have just to draw this we have to write only this but we have to understand this concept so we can write this answer this is just for understanding purpose i have drawn it but it's not required in the final examination but if you know this uh, curve in your mind you can write it easily so for all tricky questions the answer could be easy to explain or right down so this trends is very difficult very easy to understand but with it is not required in a final examination 
draw this uh, for one mask question. So let's start B. Uh, solve uh, question number two, part A. Solve two cos three x is equal to cot three x for the range of zero to ninety degree. So here we have uh, this question. And we have to draw this for 0 to 90 degree. So, uh, 2 cos 3x is equal to this cot becomes uh, cos 3x upon sin 3x and we shift it on the uh, left hand side. So, on left hand side this comes this. And we take the LCM and by this LCM this multiply with this one this part becomes this and this cos 3x divide by sin 3x and we multiply sin x with 0 and then becomes 0. So from this part to this we will have this uh, equation from here to here and we take this uh, cos 3x as a common here and sin uh, 2 sin 3x minus 1. So so here we have two part cos 3x is equal to 0 or 2 sin 3x minus 0. Keep in mind we should not to neglect it otherwise our solution will be uh, lost. If we uh, ignore this one then our solution will be lost. So we have to consider this part and this part. So either this cos 3x is equal to 0 or 2 sin 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. If cos 3x is equal to 0, then 3x becomes cos inverse 0. So cos inverse 0, we know that cos is 0 at 90 degree and 270 degree. So if 3x is equal to 90 degree and cos 270 degree in a, in a uh, between uh, first and second quadrant and second uh, uh, third and fourth quadrant, the value of cos is 0 at the border of uh, uh, quadrant 1 and 2 we have uh, 0 value at 90 degree and uh, 0 is again at 270 degree for simple cos cos inverse and since this is 3x is equal to this so one third of it is x is equal to 30 degree and this is 90 degree so this part has been solved. Now this part second uh, 2 sin 3 x minus 1 is equal to 0 then this uh, 2 sin 3 x is equal to 1 and then we divide this 2 sin 3 x is equal to 1 upon 2 and then sin inverse 3 x is equal to sin inverse 1 upon 2 from this to here from this to this we can obtain easily and we know sign is positive in the first and second quadrant at 30 degree sign inverse is half and 150 degree sign inverse is again half. So 3x is equal to 30 degree and 150 degree. So x is equal to 10 degree and 50 degree. So we have this. 10 degree, 30 degree, 10 degree, 30 degree, 50 degree and 90 degree. So we have this four solution for this simple equation. So we have this four solution and we have given a 2 cos 3x. So just for best understanding that our solution is correct, I have drawn this curve and obtain the result. So we have a uh, draw 2 cos uh, 3x, 2 cos 3x is simple. This blue line is 2 cos 3x for 0 to uh, 100 degree, for 0 to 90 degree or 100 degree. So this is uh, the simple trend of cos here to it will if we, if we extend then it becomes uh, uh, 2 again so this is cos 3x 
and its period is uh, one third. The so cos period is from zero to three sixty degree, so its period will be one twenty degree. So after one at one twenty degree, it will reach again to this point here at hundred. So this part has been draw and now cot 3x now cot 3x is this red line this cot 3x is this red line this is the inverse of uh, tangent so this red line is the inverse of tangent 1 upon tangent so it, we can see this cot 3x is this and it is intersecting at, at one point here second third and fourth so we have this three solution this is uh, 10 degree at 10 degree at 30 degree at 50 degree and at 90 degree. so we have in, with the intersection of these two equation if we equating these two equa uh, two curves we have intersecting points 10 degree 30 degree 50 degree and 90 degree so we have verified it by the graphic so uh, although this plot is not required in the final examination this is just for understanding purpose so we can give uh, much uh, difficult answers in a uh, in a final examination this will boost uh, the knowledge and uh, confidence to for all the IGCSE and O level students for the preparation of final examination Cambridge exams so this is important so this part 2A uh, is uh, whatever is required in a final examination is up to here. This graph is not required, but I have just draw it to show that how this, we have this number of uh, solutions for this simple equations. So just to uh, have a better understanding we just draw it and try to show that how many uh, intersecting points or the solution into all intersecting points are the solution so the, here the two curves are intersecting at four locations and we have obtained this by the uh, numerical uh, working on analytical working and by the plotting verified it by the plotting and a b part we have sec uh, question number two part b we have solved we have to solve uh, sec y plus pi by 2 is equal to minus 2 for the range of 0 to pi radian this is appeared in uh, november 2014 in igcse exam and uh, here we have uh, to solve this so sec uh, sec uh, y plus pi by 2 is equal to minus 2 so we just transform this sec into cos so if we inverse this then we, it will also be inverse so inverse of this is 1 over sec is equal to cos so 1 over minus 2 is minus 1 upon 2 so we take the inverse here so cos inverse min minus minus 1 upon 2 is equal to y plus pi by 2 so we know this is uh, y, uh, the trend of cos is like this simple cos so cos is uh, negative in the uh, uh, second and third quadrant Th second quadrant and a third third quadrant this is fourth quadrant this is first quadrant the second and third quadrant this part this is intersecting this part is second quadrant this is third quadrant so in a second quadrant this is 2 pi by 3 which is uh, 120 degree and this is uh, 150 degree 
so this is uh, uh, 2 pi by 3 so 2 pi by 3 y plus pi by 2 is equal to 2 pi by 3 so we will subtract minus pi by 2 from this 2 pi by 3 and we will also subtract uh, pi by 2 from 4 pi by 3 so we will have this y value which is this one pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 now we have draw this uh, pi by 6 and 4 uh, 5 pi by 6 is the solution for this simple uh, shifted uh, curve so um, we have just plotted uh, rather than plotting this sac we have just plotted this uh, simple uh, cos y plus pi by 2 is equal to minus half so we can see this at uh, and we are comparing it with minus 0.5 so we are just plotting this and comparing it with minus 0.5 so we have this cost function for 0 to pi and we are comparing it. This red line is basically the minus 0.5 and we can see that it is intersecting at pi by 6 and at 5 pi by 6. So here we have obtained this pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. We just uh, solved this part. We have drawn this one rather than drawing this because this is uh, the replica of this so we just draw this and we can see that here we have this solution. so here we have two solutions two intersecting points and we have also draw it so the solution is simple so we have to obtain only this this is just for verification I have draw it here so that a student have understanding how we have two three solutions for uh, simple equations so this is part question number two part B now question number three we have to prove that sec x cos x minus cot x is equal to tangent x so we take this left hand side sec x cos x minus cot x so this sec x is 1 over cos x cos x is 1 over sin x cot is sin cos x upon sin x and we take the LCM. so this is sin x cos x so this is one simple because we will divide this by this denominator and we'll have one so one will be in the numerator sin x we divide this sin x and cos will be in the left so we we'll multiply with the uh, cos with this cos so it becomes cos square x so 1 minus cos square x is sin square x and sin x upon cos x this so we can eliminate one sign from here and this one so in the numerator we have sin x upon cos x which is equal to tangent x that is our right hand side so we have proved we have taken the left hand side and proved that it is equal to our right hand side so this is uh, this was required in this simple question with four marks and in a part b uh, using the result from part a to solve the equation sec x cos x is equal to 3 cot 3 cot x so this becomes 3 cot x and sec x and cos x x this so this is sec x cos x x is equal to 3 cot x and we have to solve it for 0 to 360 degree and similarly we did the same here this is 1 over cos 1 over sin x this is 3 cos x upon sin x and we shifted it here and this is uh, 1 minus 3 cos square x equal to 0 this um, we take the LCM and obtain this and we just multiply it with 0 and this denominator will be uh, 0 and 1 minus 3 cos square x is this so we take the um, a this is a square minus uh, b square so this is a plus b and this is a minus b 
this is simple just take under root and then square whole square and this one the whole square this one the whole square one minus one is uh, become a and a square and this becomes b square so a plus b and a minus b this is simple um, now we take this part as a zero and this one part is zero if we take this zero then we have this so cos is uh, we know cos is negative in the second and third quadrant so we have this second and third quadrant and for this positive we have first and fourth quadrant so this is first quadrant and fourth quadrant so we have obtained this four solution and we will write down in a sequence this one is first then this part this part and finally this so we have four solutions for this simple uh, solution so we have to solve this equation and we have solved it we have this solution for value of x so for what value of x this condition will satisfy so it will satisfy at this three four positions so now we we can also draw it say simple but uh, uh, we have not draw it here so we can I'll draw it also. Now, question number four. Uh, we have uh, one plus sine theta upon cos theta plus cos theta upon one plus sine theta is equal to two sec x. We take this left hand side and take the LCM, and uh, this becomes like this. In the denom. Uh, denominator we take the LCM and with the LCM left part multiplied by this one. So now this is a plus b whole square so a square 2ab plus b square and this cos. So this is again 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2. This is 1 and this is also 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 sin theta and upon cos theta 1 plus sin theta we take the LC, uh, take the 2 common here so 1 plus sin theta 1 plus sin theta we cancel this, this sin theta and 2 upon cos theta 2 upon cos theta is equal to 2 sin theta which is our right hand side so this question number part is completed here uh, in the next session uh, we will discuss question number 5 onward